Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Ajar Dor, and today I will be reading a a a few excerpts from the from a book called the um, Worst Case Scenario Survival Handbook. I would like to to say that this book is not my intellectual property. I don't own it. I don't have anything to do with it. I'm simply reading from it. I own the book, but I encourage anyone and everyone to maybe get out a similar book, or better yet, get this this book here. It book here is apparently written written by Joshua Pivot and David Borich. It's a nice book. G get it. It's an, it might may just save your life some day, and and uh, yeah. So enjoy enjoy. Enjoy the reading. Okay, let's open open with a reading of the big frickin' disclaimer the author's decided to put in the front of the book, wisely I might add. <clears throat> Warning! When a life is imperiled or in a, or a dire situation is at hand, safe alternatives may not exist. To deal with the worst case scenarios present in this book, we highly recommend, insist actually, that the best course of action is to consult a professionally trained expert. Do not attempt to undertake any of the activities described in this book yourself. But because highly trained professionals may not always be available when the safety of individuals is at risk, we have asked experts on various subjects to describe the techniques they may employ in these emergency situations. The publisher, authors, and experts disclaim any liabilities from any injuries that may result from the use improper or, or proper of the information contained in this book. All information in, in this book comes directly from experts in the s situation at hand, but we do not guarantee that the information contained in Herein is complete, safe, or accurate, nor should it be considered a substitute for your good judgment and common sense. And finally, nothing in this book should be construed or in interpreted to infringe on the rights of other persons or to violate criminal statutes. We urge you to obey all laws and respect all rights, including property rights, of others. Now that we got the Lego Mumbo Jumbo out of the way, let's start reading into actual information that the book contains. Alright, this one here is from the chapter, How to Identify a Bomb. <clears throat> Letter and package bombs can be very dangerous and destructive. However, unlike a bomb that goes off suddenly and with no warning, they can be identified. Observe the following procedures and warning signs. How to detect a letter bomb. Number one. If a carrier delivers an unexpected bulky letter or parcel, inspect it for lumps, bulges, or protrusions without applying pressure. Check for unevenly balanced parcels. Number two. Handwritten addresses or labels from companies are unusual. Check to see if the company exists and if they sent a package or letter. Number three, be suspicious of packages wrapped in string. Modern packaging materials have eliminated the need for twine or string. Number four, watch out for excess postage on small packages or letters. This indicates that the off object was not weighed by the post office. It is no longer legal to m mail stamped parcels weighing no more than 16 ounces at mailboxes in the United States. They must be taken to a post office. Number five. Watch out for leaks, stains, especially oily stains, protruding wires, or excessive tape. Number six. Watch out for articles with no return address or a nonsensical return address. Fa thank you. Um, this here here is the is from the chapter How to Survive If You Are in the Line of Gunfire. You might find this find this information useful, so pay attention. Hopefully you won't find it useful anytime soon. <clears throat> if you are the primary target, 
Number one, get as far away as possible. A untrained shooter is unlikely to be accurate in any distance greater than 60 feet. Number two, run fast but do not move in a straight line. Weave back and forth to make it more difficult for the shooter to draw a bead on you. Number three, do not bother to count shots. You have no idea if the shooter has more ammunition. Counting is only for the movies. Number four, turn a corner as quickly as possible. Particularly if your pursuer has a rifle or assault weapon. Rifles have much greater range and accuracy, and the person may be more likely to either aim or spray bullets in your direction. If you are not the primary target, get down and stay down. If you are outside and can get to a car, run to it and lie be behind a tire on the opposite side of the car from the shooter. If you're inside a building and the shooter is inside, get to another room and lie flat. If you are face to face with a shooter, do anything you can to make yourself less of a target. Stay down until the shooting stops or until authorities arrive and give the all clear. And that's it, it for now. Th thank you for uh, listening, listening to it. I hope this has been interesting. Remember, be very careful out there. Till next time, I'm Ajado. Good night and good luck.